What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with JW Crewall. Hey, guys. We are going to be showing off a busted shit ninja deck in today's tabletop video. JW, I know you already went over it a little bit for the stream audience. For, for those watching on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, go follow the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tricky gym. And thank you so much, M. Briskia, for the sub. And uh, they say, Shedinja is going to win worlds, no doubt. Definitely a possibility. <laughs> Run us through the broken cards in this deck. Okay, ready? great. So your main attacker is a Ranguru. Um, and what you're going to want to try to do is every turn attach a Shedinja to it. And basically what Shedinja does is it makes it so that your opponent takes one less prize card when the card that Shedinja is attached to is knocked out. So if you get a Shedinja on your Ranguru, since there's so few gust effects, in format, your opponent's probably going to have to knock out the Oranguru, and so they can't take a prize, right? So, Absolutely. Um, there are cards that help facilitate this combo. Uh, one of the main cards that we look at is the Zebstrika. You're always going to want to have at least two of these Zebstrika down on your bench so that you can quickly run through your deck, get to the end of your deck, draw through your deck every single turn, and then resource management back cards that you need. Um, other cards that are really good in this strategy are Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Uh, so that you can play multiple supporters because you usually want to play something like a Lily and then a you know either a disruption supporter like Mars, which is our one disruption supporter, or I guess Faba too, um, Lily, or particularly Brock's Grit. Uh, that is a big card for the deck because you're constantly losing Pokemon, right? When your Shedinja goes uh, onto your Ranguru or gets attached, you lose the Ninkata. You obviously need to recycle Ninkatas, recycle Shedinjas when the uh, po Pokemon that it's attached to gets knocked out. So we need to have Brock's Grit. Um, beyond that, one of the best inclusions uh, for this deck is Recycle Energy. And that's a new card that we haven't seen. But basically what Recycle Energy does is it's going to come back to your hand if it's attached to a Pokemon and you have to discard it. So let's say I have the... Um, you know, this, this board set up here, a Ranguru gets knocked out. Well, these two Pokemon go to the discard, but now this energy goes back to my hand. I don't need to find it again next turn. So, so good. Really helps so complete good. the puzzle there. So uh, It's also really good for retreating a lot of your one retreat cost Pokemon as well, because Absolutely. you can retreat it off a of Pokemon, and it still comes back to the hand. Yeah, so. and one of the cool strategies that we found last night is you can attach a Recycle Energy early to a Shedinja, and then knock that out and yes. get that energy back to the hand. So you're kind of like, you can store energy uh, on your board, game. which yep. is really, really cool. Now, I'm going to be playing a Picaram deck with two Lysander Labs. Last night, JW and I were testing, and he won four out of five games playing against a Picaram deck with one Lysander Lab. Uh, so this should be a little bit more interesting for us. Should go both ways. JW also has a... Uh, a, a stadium. A stadium. Uh, you have a Mew, you have a stadium of your own in Power Plant, and you have two copies of Faba to attempt to get rid of my Lysander lab. So we'll see how this goes. Would you like heads or tails? Right? I'll take heads. Okay. And heads it is. All You'll right, be going well, first. Would you like to first. cut? Uh, no. Oh, I trust you. All right. I trust you too, JW. All Isn't right. trust a beautiful thing between it, friends? It sure is. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Five, six, and seven. Okay. So definitely an interesting match. Uh, I think that we'll probably be able to see this Shedinja deck setting up very quickly. And going first is definitely an advantage for it because Picaram decks do not always attack early on. They don't always attack on the first uh, couple turns of the game. So I'll do an Acro Bike here. Um, and basically what I'm doing, I have a lot of options in my hand. I have Pokenav, Acro Bike, Netball, um, and I have a Lily. What I'm really looking for is um, ideally just more Pokemon down. Uh, we know that we are guaranteeing ourselves one Ninkata with this netball, uh, but I just kind of want to see what I can get here off these acro bikes. So we'll take we will take a Pokemon communication here, and then go in here with a Pokenav. Now Pokenav was a card that was pretty strong in our. Um, you know, testing last night. Because it can get the... Because uh, it can get the recycle energy. It can yeah. get the energy. So we're going to do that. We're going to attach the recycle energy there um, and then go ahead and netball. Now, the other thing that netball can do is search out grass energy. Yep. So that's why we play a 2-2 two -two split. Uh, it's not all recycle energy. There are some grass. 
Um, and the grass can be gotten back with the Brocks. Exactly. Which is another good. So lots of energy options in the deck. You will find that usually you'll be able to like obtain that sweet kind of end game spot where you're just recycling the recycle energy in Orangaroos. But to get there, having four energy is really nice just so that you can find it. Uh, early on, especially with the net balls being able to search out your grass energy, you're going to start using resource management uh, very quickly. We are running four copies of Orangaroo in our version of Shedinja because you always want to have one on the bench as well mm -hmm. and one in the active. So if you prize one or two, that means you're just going to need two uh, Orangaroos in play. And since uh, basic search is a problem with a lot of decks in standard format. Uh, just having the four actual copies of Oranguru kind of negates your need to search it out in a lot of ways because it'll just draw into them. Absolutely. Now, I have a pretty interesting hand. Um, since, again, there's not a lot of gust in this format, I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. I'm going to go with the netball here for the Nakata, and you can see my hand. I have the Pokemon communication now. I could go and grab, um, you know, probably a Blitzel would be my other choice, but I'm just going to instead opt to hold an Encata into my in my hand, uh, and that way I have a way to get the Zebstrika out next turn. Now I do have a Professor Elms lecture if I want to go that w route, but we're going to go ahead and I think just call it a day there, and I'll go pass right. to you, Andrew. Draw for turn, and I do need to be careful with my deck since i know that i'm playing against a stall deck i mean we want to be quick you know i want to uh attack quickly and aggressively i want to make sure that i'm also not getting rid of too many resources here i have the option to either cynthia or day day change here i think i am going to use this opportunity to day day change since i can do so without discarding any custom catchers without uh discarding Anything super valuable without discarding any of my Lysander Labs either. Kind of just taking stock of the deck, seeing what I have in here. I think I am going to Pokemon Communication for my Tapu Koko Prism Star since I am about to discard two Lightning Energy off of this Day Day Change. And then we're just hoping for a Lily. I also have an Electro Power, so it is possible for me to knock out the Oranguru with a Zapdos that is usually the quickest, most efficient tacker in this Picaram deck. So I will use Electro Power here, and we're gonna day day change discarding both of my Lightning Energies, hoping to maybe attack with a Zapdos, or just about anybody, really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy, okay. So that is interesting. I uh, did not get the most busted hand here off of my draws. Okay. Now, a couple of things I can do. I could start to static shock this thing. I guess 60 plus 50 is not gonna knock out that. Uh, oh, I actually do have knockouts. I really don't want to tingly return the Oranguru. That feels very bad. So static shock. Yeah. I could static shock for knockout. I think that uh, may be what we see coming into play here. I will dance in the Ancients, get the energy wow. onto the Dedenne, wow. retreat into Dedenne. And then two more Electro Powers, oh Energy gosh. Switch up, and... Uh, Unreal! A little Static Shock or Knockout. All right, so yeah. then, again, this is this is a great thing. So the Oranguru goes to the discard, but now I get the Energy back. So I can take this in my hand, and that's one less piece that I need. You see that I didn't have the Energy, uh, Recycle Energy, very good. So I'll draw my card for turn. That is a good card to see. Uh, it is the Mew that I drew. I will go ahead and attach the energy to the Oranguru. And now I can do a lot of busted stuff. So we'll start with the Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Uh, just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to lay it out here instead of putting it in the discard just so we can see the supporters that uh, get played. And then in this matchup, you generally want the Mew down. So I'm going to go ahead and play it there. We'll go with a Pokemon Communication and put in the Nakata. What I'm gonna search out here is a Zebstrika. We just wanna go through our deck as fast as we can. So let's go ahead and get that out. And then what we also wanna see here is a uh, another Oranguru. So we'll go there with the communication. Right, that is the last piece of the, uh, you know, the bench space that you want, uh, having that Oranguru there on the bench. So you always have one to promote when it gets knocked out. So with our second supporter, we'll play a Lily. 
and draw four. Four, very good. We got the shed. And then we just need another Oranguru. So we'll go here, play the Ninkata down. And I'm going to go and let's see. I think we're going to yeah, I was going to say, you haven't sprinted I sprint. yet, right? I know. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to think now if I play the Mars right now or if I sprint. I mean, there's there's a lot of I have a three different card ways hand. that I could do things, you know? That's so I think, yeah, it's definitely, um, definitely a curious... Definitely a curious thing here. Let's go ahead and Mars. We'll show All right, I got a three-card hand. So I draw full, dis two. full disclosure, there is a Lily in this hand. Let's go! Oh, dude. All right, JW. <laughs> Unreal, dude. Come on. Talk about I, the ones last night. Dude, all right. So last <laughs> night, JW and I were testing. Uh, off of all of his Mars hits, he was, uh, I mean, he hit Custom Catchers. He hit Lysander Labs. He hit... All my most valuable cards in this matchup off of that Mars. And sure enough, he's doing it again. One out of three chance of hitting my one draw supporter. He snags it. Pretty busted. So I'll sprint here and hope we draw into another Oranguru. We did. So that's great. We'll go ahead and acro bike and we'll take a... What do we want? We'll take that to the discard. And... Gonna go ahead and Vessel of Life, our Shedinja. Put that Ninkata into the discard. Bench and Oranguru, and we're pretty good. What we wanna see here on our next turn is another Blitzel, um, but we're pretty content with this board state, especially getting out the Mew uh, early, that's so good. So resource sure. management is gonna get us back. I wanna make sure that we don't run out of supporters, um, particularly supporters like Faba. That's the only way for us to remove stadiums aside from our one of stadium so we'll take these three you got fava so lieutenant that. surge and brock's grit and brock's grit i believe those are going to be the three so we'll take these put them on the bottom of the deck all right and i'll draw for turn that is uh not really what we want here i feel like i'm probably not winning this game if i don't uh you know tag bolt but uh i don't really have a lot of other options so uh, I think I am just going to go for the Tingly Tingle Return. Time. Yup. Okay. Draw Tingle Town. That's what we got. Yup. <laughs> Doesn't feel good. But we're doing 50 damage and you are paralyzed. I sure am. Sir. I sure yes. am. Very good. All right. So I'm just looking through my discard, seeing what I want to do. I have a Brock Scrit so I could get back these Pokemon, but um, I almost feel like it's just, it's just Lily. Straight Lily hours. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was a way better decision. So we'll go ahead with the Shed Incha, preemptively get an Oranguru set up, and then try to get another Blitzel down. We'll do that for sure. And Pokenav here. Search out, I was just gonna say, if we could get another energy, that would be really good. Attach that to our benched Oranguru. Oh, I shuffled the deck. That was not what I was supposed to do on the Pokenav. No, why are you shuffling that whole deck on the Pokenet, bro? <laughs> Sad. Yeah. All right. Well, doesn't matter. Yeah, probably. All right. So these two cards go on the top, and then this will be attached, and I will have to pass. Okay. Yeah. Draw for turn. I could sprint, but I have cards in my hand that I want to save. So. Sounds good. Go ahead and pass. Uh, feels bad. I've got one of my custom catchers in my hand now, so. I'm really just not trying to, let's see here. Okay. I mean, this feels really bad. No. Yep. We ain't doing it. All right. Go ahead, JW. All right. I'll draw. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So this will go here. Play a Brock's Grit. And what's unfortunate is, okay, so I got off to a weird start with this Picaram deck. Uh, I didn't draw into a draw supporter. Uh, well, I finally got my Lily, and then, you know, JW just got rid of it. Um, but I did any change to Cynthia away, didn't draw into another draw su uh, supporter. But, um, you know, but now I need to kind of just preserve my resources. Now that we're getting into that late game, uh, we're going to find it that I just can't really get into uh, a winnable board state because I only have two opportunities to... Gust, JW's board. 
Uh, I've already used my GX attack just to get that Dedenne back to my hand. Before I top decked the Custom Catcher, it was looking like a pretty decent hand to Dedenne away, and I was thinking maybe with two Gust Effects and two Lysander Labs, I might be able to beat this deck, even without a Tag Bolt GX. But I think as we are going to see, uh, without utilizing each of those four opportunities, did you resource management already? All right. I will draw, I'm gonna acro bike. See what we got. Okay, and I'm gonna take that card there. Uh, I will attach lightning energy and okay. put Thunder Mountain Prison Star into play, and we're going to Plasma Fist for knockout. That is a knockout, but don't take a prize I because will not I take have a prize, the Shedinja yes. attached. Now uh -huh. the rescue energy comes back to the hand, and I will promote my other Oren Guru. All right, go ahead and draw for turn. Sure. And let's see what we can do here. So that goes down. We can uh, netball just to look through the old deck. We could get ourselves an Encata. Um, and you know what? I might just do it to kind of thin the deck a little bit more. We obviously have resource management. And we definitely want to find an Urn Guru. So we'll go here with an Encata. And then I have a Rescue Energy in hand, or Recycle Energy in hand. Yep. Uh, I'm going to attach it to the Shedinja. Uh, we might see the play where um, I knock out the, or not knock out, I use the ability on Shedinja, be able to retrieve that energy. Uh, but we'll sprint here. Which is really cool because cards. since this will get discarded from play, uh, it does go back to the hand. Now if you sprint away the Recycle Energy, you don't actually get to get it back from the discard pile because it goes straight from the hand to the discard pile and Recycle Energy reads that it comes back to your hand if it gets discarded from play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. So now I'm deciding whether I want to play the pal pad or not. Um, and I think I don't because I want to hit an Oranguru. I know I only have two remaining in the deck and I can always just resource management back the pal pad. So I'll sprint again, draw four new cards. There we go. We got some Orangaroos. Boom. Go ahead and play that down. Um, and then I will have my shit engine attached, and let's go ahead and resource management. Now, another interesting thing about this deck uh, in post-rotation format is, well, first of all, there's no field blower. So there's no chance of me removing that shit engine from a Ranguru, uh, unless I play Faba, okay, which most decks are not playing Faba at this point. If you take a look around the internet, you're not gonna find any decks playing Faba to remove tools. And, uh, you know, Lysander Labs is the other option. There's really only a couple of decks that are even considering playing Lysander Labs, and not even all lists are playing Lysander Labs. So uh, it would, you know, that is not another way to remove the... That's another way that... Uh, that the other way to remove Shinage is Lysander Labs, <laughs> and most decks aren't even playing. Right. So, well, and it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. and... Uh, and then, you know, there's really only two gust effects. So And you gotta hit both of them, like you can't prize them. Yes. You can't discard them with the Dedene. You have to have them. You have For to sure. have them at the right times. Alright, I believe yes, I so draw. So that is a resource management and your Don't turn. Draw. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, yeah. Pass to you, Doug. Okay. You got it. Draw. Very yeah. good. I'm not gonna rush through this game. Because I want to at least get to utilize all of my tools that I have in this matchup. But what JW can do is if he realizes, okay, he knows I have a Dedenne in hand, and he knows that I'm not playing any cards, then he must know that I have some valuable pieces in my hand. He could just start to Mars this hand, and we'll be able to pick some of those pieces, those game ending pieces, out mm -hmm. of uh, my hand for exactly. sure. Exactly, and that's definitely what I'm going to do here. Palpad is going to give me back um, a Mars. And if I have the other Mars, I'll take it. Yeah, so two Mars, put those back in. And the, the crazy thing is that I could potentially play two Mars in a turn, right? So I could get my Lieutenant Surge, yep. and then get my Mars, and then get another Mars, and uh, basically mill you two twice. Now uh, see if you can turn. keep yourself at a game state where you wouldn't lose to a reset stamp as well. Okay. Because, I mean, I don't currently have reset stamp in this list. It's been in and out of my Picaram deck. I so just kept sprint. discarding it, uh, which is why uh, I wasn't playing it. But that is something to be aware of, that uh, if at any point I were to make you shuffle draw six, could you survive? Right. right. So, 
All right. Dedenne, Very there's uh, yep, my consistency card getting hit <laughs> <laughs> with... Uh, I do have a Brock's Grit. I'm deciding whether or not I want to sprint this hand away. I think we just will because we have so much uh, juice left in the deck and we can obviously resource management. Now, yes, now this would be a time where you would say, oh yeah, um, this would be a lo game losing situation with... Um, with Stamp. With Stamp. You would, so do you you think, would lose do here. You think I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could Brock's Grit right now preemptively or I could... We were just talking about it, so I guess I should yeah, play around Brock's the grit. resets. Yeah, yeah, you definitely play All right, around very the good, very Yeah, good, yeah. Very good. So, we'll do so that. if you have the Brock's grit, you just play it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Just to make sure you don't lose. I mean, at this point, you know, I'm like really not doing anything, so you can. That's true. So oh. you don't want to overextend right. for any reason. I could still sprint this hand away, uh, draw what you know is still in the deck. I think we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get rid of these cards. Who needs them? One, two, three, and four. And now you're not losing to reset stamp. Now I'm not losing to reset stamp. Deck. Yep. And then, of course, we're going to resource management get some stuff back. Exactly. So. All right. I will draw for turn. I still really am not rocking with much, but I can put some pressure on and at least knock out the Orangaroo with my attack here. But it's, uh, it's not really, you know, taking any prizes. <laughs> sure isn't. So, yeah. Pops right. fist. Now, there are a couple ways that a Shedinja deck can accelerate the board state. As we can see, I still have a fat deck here. I don't know if you can actually see that. Yeah, I still have a pretty fat deck here. A lot of cards to work with. Over 30 cards left in my deck, I would say. And, you know, I've only taken one prize. If this game were to go to 50 minutes, uh, I would technically win. Because you would. I'm the one who's taken a prize and JW has not. So Shedinja does need a win condition as it is right now. You could have a different stadium. What's know, that? Uh, you could play Shrine, right? You could play Shrine, right? Uh, shrine of Punishment could eventually take prizes. Okay. Uh, we were also thinking about Koga's Trap could be a decent uh, addition as well. Or yeah. At least I was thinking that. Oh, you would. I misspoke. You wouldn't win in 50, you'd tie. Is it in game... Three, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. In uh, in 50 minutes you would tie, but in top eight you would win. Okay, I misspoke. Yeah, yeah. In a top eight scenario, the one prize game in a, in a single game would win, but in Swiss rounds that won't cut it. You just tie because there needs to be a winner of one game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Misspoke there. But uh, you do just infinite loop, and then you Mars their hand away uh, eventually. But uh, any player worth their salt would uh, just Cynthia kind of indefinitely sure wait for you to go out to 50 minutes and then just tie so the deck does need a way to kind of expedite the game state you can use the diglet right and maybe a uh you can use diglet and what is it giovanni's exile mm -hmm. is a we way thinking that as well to do that kind of mill some more cards right you could also use, uh, I guess, Koga's Trap, we were talking about. Yeah. Take some prizes. Shrine of Punishment is another great option to maybe take some prizes as well. Unfortunately, uh, we do not have... Oh, Persian is another. That was uh, the yeah, uh, inclusion that we were considering as well. Mm -hmm. I think the Persian could be very good because then... Oh, you could actually just start to profound. If I sit here, and with that's this, the thing, it's like I can st right, right. At a certain point, I can you know build up my resources enough where I can profound knowledge. Yeah, um, and that would be the other strategy. Right, make me Zero do point. something. Make you right. do something. Exactly. Uh, and if the Orangaroo actually starts attacking, uh, that is kind of the gameplay for JW. Is that you know he gets a solid enough board state to where that is the case. Now uh, I am being. You know, very safe here because JW and I, uh, I'll just pass. JW and I have played some games last night. So, yeah, he's he's starting to go That's for right. it. Yeah. Uh, JW and I have played some games last night. Uh, I understand. Yeah, hit me with Mars. that Mars, dude. Let's go. Hit that Custom Catcher out of my hand. Hit that Lysander Labs out of my hand. Boom. Oh, Pikaram. So, all, all right. Well, I got another one, though. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Yes. So, we got someone in the chat saying that the loss of Gladian really hurts Shedinja. Uh, you just play two of everything. Let's make go. sure 
Oh, tag switch gone too. <laughs> Play two of everything. Make sure that uh, you don't really prize the cards that you need. Play higher counts of the things that you need. And that's what we've been able to do in this list. Make it so that you, uh, you know, you get that board state every single time. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So we did prize our stadium. Ah. And we did, uh, yeah, so we're having a little problem. Like, that's the thing is, it's hard to know whether this deck wants, um, you know, like two stadiums. There's a lot of different ways we could play this as well. So we're still trying to figure that out. For sure. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and resource management. What we have been oh actually there is a reset name for this deck. Oh, I've got the sauce, guys. Buddy. I'm gonna I'm gonna deck them out. I know, yeah, you better be careful. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I do have reset. <laughs> I have two different versions of Pika Rum, so alright. So, uh, yeah, and I'm just going to plasma fists. Did you you didn't last turn, right? No, I have a pass last turn. Yep. Okay. So I'll draw. <laughs> Riley says lying about the context of your tag. <laughs> Sad. Yeah. Sad. All right, I'll spread. Yeah. But we can see that setting up this infinite loop is very easy. I mean, at this point, JW is never going to miss. Uh, he can just play his deck enough that he is going to be able to infinitely loop this to, uh, to time. Now, the question is, how does, how does Shedinja create a win state? It's going to be much easier to do once Jesse and James comes out next uh, next format, allowing you to... Ah. Are you pal padding some cards in? I am. Yeah. Allowing you to mill some of the cards off of your opponent's deck and then kind of infinitely looping that back and forth. I think we're seeing that probably with a more conservative approach, right. the... Uh, just the Mars is not going to be enough. So you got Brock's Grit, and then you're going to hit me with the Mars, too. Mm -hmm. And then you're not going to lose the game to a reset stamp, right? I am not. All right. Because reset stamp will shuffle my hand back in. Busted. All right. So then go ahead and Mars. That's my you know, third supporter there. Let's get the stamp. Boom. Oh, Energy okay. switch. Right. Ah, oh, well. Two. Still really good. Can't win them all. Um, and then I will resource management. So let's get some stuff back here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, we'll actually take those two. All right. Put those back at the bottom. Of the deck. Sounds good. Draw for turn. Now I attacked last turn. Cannot do it this turn. And the card, yeah, you're not going to lose to a reset stamp. It's going to be a pass from me, dog. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's Mars. Okay. Pikaram. My other Pikaram. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Both Pikarams. <laughs> and then we'll uh, resource management. Sure. We'll take this. We'll take. Well, I get to see him, right? Oh, yeah, you sure do. Two Mars. You're only resource managing two Mars. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I was going to say, you need a third card there, bud. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, draw. Now you've got enough cards in your hand. You're not going to. Yeah, not going to lose. I'm not, I'm not going to lose. Oh, baby. We have got. Oh, I need to find an energy. Let's see, we'll put that down. I'm going to, yeah, put the Lysander Labs Yo. in play. And then Cynthia. Whoa. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm taking a prize, chat. I'm going to catch him slipping for sure. For sure, for sure. Now, there, there are definitely, like, ways to play this deck that are more optimal, I feel like. Yeah. Like, for this... We're trying to keep it as speedy as we can to we try are. to just expedite processes. One, two, three, so four. Apologize in advance Five, if, if yeah. you know, resource managing for two. You know what I mean? Yeah. That kind of thing. Like, uh, yeah, Plaza Fist, and I'm taking just, my prize. It is what it is. All right, so this goes back to my hand. I'm going to go ahead and promote an Orangaru and draw for turn. So now this is where the Fabas come in very clutch. Dude, uh, no way. You got it, bro. No. Bob of that okay, away. All right. uh, we'll go ahead and shed Inja here onto the benched Orangaroo and play down another named Kata. Now, I could sprint this hand away, and uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. But we'll resource management, put some stuff back in. All right. I'm going to draw for turn. Um, as it is, let's see, right now, I think uh, I got my energy attachment here. I'm just going to Volkner. 
-hmm. Get lightning and another custom catcher out of the deck. And since I do have my Dawn Wings Necrozma GX, I can actually just use that invasion ability to bring it to the active and then retreat for free using Thunderclap Zone so that I can reuse my Plasma Fist attack every turn. And we're gonna bring up the Zeb Strika hey, on your bench just to try to slow your roll and use Plasma Fist for knockout. Now, I have, I guess, um, just a couple more options to deny prizes in this game. I have two more Custom Catchers and I have one more Lysander Labs. So we are going to be expediting things here as we come down the wire. And if JW, to be honest, if he disrupts any of those strategies from me. Mars. Um, yeah, with like Mars, uh, then I'm just going to scoop it up. Because I don't actually have a way to win this game if he gets rid of my other stadium or one of my other two custom catchers. Even still, I need my... Stadium to net me two knockouts, not just one. So JW is going to be probably pretty smart about his plays here. Make sure that he does not uh, make sure that he gives himself, you know, the option to Fava so he doesn't lose. Uh, and as soon as I mm -hmm. come in with my Lysander Labs, that he just uh, he just has it, right? And by putting the Pal Pad back into the deck, he can kind of make sure that that is always an option. So I'm going to attach an energy to my Zera Aura here, put my other Lysander Labs into play, and then just data change. Yep, discard my hand and draw six. Chat, are, are really you having fun yet, chat? One, two, three, uh, four, five. Six. Um, now, I actually have an interesting... You have two cards in hand, right? I have three. Three. Okay. It's interesting because if I can... Oh, my gosh. I guess, like, I'm not sure if it's best to Custom Catcher and... Custom Catcher the Zebra and Lysander Labs in the same turn. That, that's that's pretty good, I That think. is pretty good. Well... But then I'm wasting my Custom Catcher. But it's the only... I think it's the only way that yeah. I, like, maybe win. So I think, we'll yeah, Acro Bike. Yeah. I feel like it's not Play the my worst. electro power. Now I do also have reset stamp, so like I could stamp you before I go I for the double. I, I wouldn't I either. Would. I don't think I do. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just going to Cynthia here to try and draw more cards. But taking out my draw support, that is that is like the huge way that you want to go. I think so. so. I, f I almost feel like it's just I gotta try and to, hit it. Yeah. to go for it. I gotta try and hit it. So that's what I'm going for. And as we can see, my deck is getting much smaller. Now that I'm actually like trying to win the game, since I am playing, you know, on stream, we are trying to win. Oh, I did not hit it. Not at all. Okay. Well, yep. you still take a knockout. So that's I not do so take bad. a knockout. I do take a prize. It's all pretty good. I'm going to use my Dawn Wings Invasion and Retreat so that I can Plasma Fist again. Very good. So we'll draw. Not what you want to see, but not so bad. So we'll Lieutenant Surge's strategy, um, and I'll attach here. And then, oh, buddy. Um, okay, I'm just trying to think what's going to give me. We need another Oranguru. We need a Blitzel. We need a few things. So And a Faba. And, well, yeah, and a Faba. That's a good point. So... I think Faba is of utmost importance, so let's try to uh, just check the discard here, see if we have any. We do, so I will put a Faba back in. I have a uh, Pal Pad, so we'll take Faba and Mars, put those back into the deck, and then I think at this point, I'll sprint. Sounds good. So you've played Lieutenant Surge already. You do need a couple more cards to complete the puzzle, but uh, you have a pretty decent shot of draft. I mean, you get, actually only get yeah. one sprint, though. What do you think, though? Is the better play... I have Mars in my hand. Yeah. Because we, we need to hit the Faba. I you think. do. You know, we uh, really want to hit the Faba. I think Mars first. All right. So we'll Mars first. Yep. We did get the Faba. So I told it you. All I told out. you. It yeah, all yeah. worked out. Boom. Get out of here. Yep. See ya, Dedenne. And then see ya, Lysander Labs. Yep. And then, let's see, what do we even want in here? You haven't even sprinted yet. I was going to say, but we have the other pal pad, so we're just looking through the discard, see if we want it. I actually think we don't need anything. We really would rather hit the Blitzel, so let's go ahead here and sprint. 
Um, and no Blitzel, but we did get an Oranguru, so not so bad. We attached energy for turn, and uh, that is just going to be a resource management from me. Take that, take that, think, take that. And you're still at one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still cannot beat JW with a reset stamp. I've been looking out for it all game to see if reset stamp would. Uh, would win me the game. I have not been able to get to a game state where it would. So uh, that's very unfortunate. Now, I don't remember if I drew for turn. Anyways, I'm just going to use Cynthia here anyway. So like, yeah, whatever. I had the right, Cynthia in my hand. I forgot. Fine. But yeah, anyways, I was focused on trying to see if you, uh, if you use the, or if you could lose to reset stamp, which is sure. a card that I did have. Sure. In my deck, exactly. not trying to play too many cards from my deck. It's weird because like I want to hit the double custom catcher, right? But and I also feel like in an untimed tournament, yeah. Or I mean, this is untimed, so yes. like you're just we're just playing it as fast as we can, right? Uh, within reason. But in a tournament setting, you know, you do have the clock restrictions. You do, and so I feel like you would play it a little bit differently, knowing that. I will invasion retreat and plasma fist for knockout. Okay. So we we'll go here. Now I need to find a Shedinja or a Ninjask. And, oh man, a lot of things actually. So, and uh, obviously we want to get another Blitzel. So I'll play Lieutenant Surge's strategy and uh, go ahead here with the Mars. Okay. Did get an Encata. Oh, yeah, I, I see that. Up. I want to see that uh, uh, custom catcher. The custom Let's catcher. go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay, oh, not okay, as good. Not it. Uh, and then we'll sprint here. Draw four. And, okay, very good. So I'll go and shed Inja onto my active. Bring back the rescue, or the recycle energy. Uh, play down a Blitzel, and we will Brox Grit. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. That is four. You get to a point where you you just don't it doesn't really matter all that much what you bring back, um, so we'll get those things back. All and right. then I'm gonna go ahead and resource manage. Sounds good. Okay. Put some supporters back. You've got three cards. Sure do. Okay. Just take those three. Sounds good. Now, I have an opportunity here. Uh, I'm going to Volkner, check my deck, get the Custom Catcher, fail on the Lightning, and I think here I just go for the Zepstrika. Hope that JW can't draw through the remainder of his deck. I'm going to double Custom Catcher up Zepstrika, use Dawn Wings to Invasion and Retreat, mm -hmm. and Plasma Fist for Knockout. And we just hope that JW doesn't have another Zepstrika in his hand. Yep, and you would be absolutely correct, sir. So that we was the will go hope. there. Yeah. Um, and then, let's see, Palpat is going to get us back some draw supporters. We're going to take, I think we just take two Lily, which is a little bit scary. Right, because you're like, oh, I yeah. need to hit him. <laughs> yep. So we'll go there with the Lilies. And then, of course, we'll resource management, get back some. So we still, you know, okay, so this is his last thing. That's, that he that is so, it. So now it's on me to make sure my deck works. Right. Right? So if my deck fails, in, and I give myself, I have obviously one more turn here. Yeah. And then potentially another turn, depending on what I draw. Uh, but I could just draw a dead card, like an energy, for instance. This is my hand. If I draw, like, an energy, uh, a Pokemon that's not a Zubstrika. Uh, cut, bro. There you go. Right, cut. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cut, all right, all right. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah. So there's that, there's that, and put back in. I don't know. Right. And you know those are going to the bottom of the deck, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't affect much. the consistency of you hitting your lilies that you put into the uh, put into the deck. Alright. So then I will just invasion and plasma fist for again, not a prize, but okay. I am putting the pressure on. Putting the pressure on. You okay? Putting the pressure on JW's board state here. He's got <laughs> another Shedinja, but no Ninkata. But it's just not, you know, it's not what you want to see, obviously. Um, and we don't have, like, the other problem is we don't really have an energy to attach. So I actually think 
I'm going to resource management without putting a shit engine on. And there's the reason for that is that we can promote shit engine and then knock it out. To, or not knock it out, but use yes. the ability and then promote an Orangaroo. Hopefully that just gives us another turn to find uh, yes. draw supporters. I so uh, we will resource management. Put back in the boys. Um, yeah, all right. Let's get. I think the uh, the moral of the story, no matter how this game ends up going, though, uh, I'm playing two Lysander Labs and have utilized both sets of custom catchers here. Exactly. I'm just going to Invasion, Retreat, and Plasma Fist. Okay. Um, most decks are not going to be playing two Lysander Labs, uh, which is... And that's going to be it. That's going to be that's it. Gonna be, I drew two dead cards. Uh, Couldn't do it. We got there. Uh, well, actually, no, we can do this. So we can shed Inja and then promote... Mew, yeah. right? You give yourself okay. another give, turn. Give myself another turn. Yeah. So we can we can do that. We can... Uh, I think you attach to attach the, the bench. Blitzel, right? Because you actually can retreat the Blitzel. Um, but oh, yeah, yeah. I can also... Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Um, so then I will pass now. Okay. So we're in... We're in dire straits. Invasion, Plasma Fist for not a prize. Oh, my gosh. Lily. No! <laughs> That was three dead cards in a row. Three dead All cards right. in a row. Very All right. good. Well played. Well played. Okay. So, I think a couple of things there. First of all, I was playing two Lysander Labs in the list. In our games with only one Lysander Labs, it was a wash, and we couldn't quite get there. With two Lysander Labs, it's possible. Uh, but it was we kinda, still pretty iffy. Definitely pretty iffy. Uh, I went about that game much slower than I had any of the games we were testing last night. Mm -hmm. uh, I did a lot more passing than I did last night, just waiting for the combination of cards to get my hand. However, last night, JW was just hitting my custom catchers with what? the Mars. That's was. like, was. that's what was happening. He was hitting my custom catchers with Mars, and I was absolutely losing. He was hitting my labs with Mars too, and I would lose, uh, I'd lose that way too. So those are two yeah, ways I'd say, I'd say I got, lose. you know, maybe what, six to eight Mars off, and I didn't you really did. hit anything relevant. You did it so, in that game. you know, not that you should hope to do that, but but you think like, okay, maybe, uh, you know, I'll get your reset stamp, maybe I'll get your, you know, a stadium of yours, maybe I'll get a custom catcher that's like the holy grail right. um, of cards. Didn't really get anything relevant, so. For sure. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe I'll get your Dawn Wings. Um, right. You know, who knows. Still Things like really... That. Really uh, tight games. And this is like our first draft of a Shit Angel deck. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, you know, at the at the end of the day, we learn it works, okay? The engine works. It's easy to set up. You could get to the to the end game of a Shit Angel deck very easily. If you're playing against a deck that doesn't snipe damage or uh, doesn't mill cards or, you know, doesn't mess with what you're doing, doesn't play Lysander Labs, it's definitely possible to set up a win state the most difficult part of a Shedinja deck, you know, for Worlds, is going to be how do you create that win state in 50 minutes? Right. Well, the other thing, right, is that I think you would want something like your stadium to be Shrine. Yeah. Uh, or you might want to include cards like Crushing Hammer just to put some additional pressure onto your opponent um, in a way that Mars just can't do. Shrine, uh, pressure on the board, you can do Kogas, you know. Right, Kogas. Make it so that your opponent doesn't just have one... Pokemon out there swinging turn after turn. Right. 